Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Black Ops 4 Zombie Perk Builds with your boy, Werewolf. So today, our perk build is going to be called The Camper. For all those friends of ours that like to camp in the corner while playing zombies, we're just going to jump straight into it. First elixir today is going to be Stock Option. Stock Option is essential in camping. You don't want to have to reload for as long as possible. It's going to draw all the ammo that you're shooting out of your uh, backup magazines. Secondly, Carpenter. This is going to be the first consumable elixir we use. It's just good to have an extra five seconds to reload when you actually have to. Keep all the zombies out, get a chance to reload, start right over. Third, anywhere but here. Get trapped in a corner, can't go anywhere. Even with uh, Dying Wish, you need to be able to just get the F out of Dodge. Anywhere but here will take you there. And uh, next, we're going to have one of the best, in my opinion, elixirs from and or gobble gums from Black Ops 3, Burned Out. Good for a couple of hits, kills all the zombies in your immediate vicinity, just bursts them into flame. Super helpful in a pinch, either running through to try and get your perks back, or just trapped in the corner, same way with the anywhere but here. And that's where our first perk is going to come in, Dying Wish. Dying Wish is an awesome new perk. Uh, get backed into a corner, and instead of going down, you'll go into Berserk mode, where basically it's one-hit kill melee on any zombie. Uh, but you're going to go down to one health as soon as it's over. It only lasts a couple seconds, nine seconds to be exact. And uh, then you can get to another safe place and start your camping all over again. And that one health is where the second perk is going to come in handy, Stone Cold Stronghold. If you're standing still, you'll have a defensive circle built around you. It gives you the same amount of armor as activating your special wood. And uh, normally I would run this in the modifier slot, but you'll see why I'm not. Third is Mule Kick. Gotta have an extra weapon. That way you can just switch between weapons, never having to reload. And last but not least is our boy, Bandolier Bandit. Now the reason I chose this over Stone Cold Stronghold is because Stone Cold Stronghold's modifier boosts damage over time if you kill them only inside the circle. Whereas Bandolier Bandit constantly replenishes your backup ammo over time whenever you're not using that weapon. I cannot stress how helpful this is in high rounds. Especially if you're running a camping build, because frankly camping in zombies only works if you're playing with friends and or bots. Which I highly recommend this build with bots, because trying to do it solo, you won't get past round 20. It just won't work. Um, and, I mean, you can do this on the newer maps, you can do it on Voyager 9, but it doesn't quite work as well. God, those are cool. And that's because of all the extra elemental zombies and the bosses. This build really works best on the older maps, the Aether maps. And yes, we're using a Claymore, don't judge me. I know Wraithfire is way better, but uh, Claymore is just going to give us that extra little edge of information. And our starting weapon, of course, is the Saug. Um, high burst. Uh, not quite enough ammo as I would like, but that's where Bandolier Bandit comes in. And it's a great defensive weapon to just mow down zombies if you're trying to get out of there in a pinch. But again, going back to the Claymores, the reason we're using that is that's sort of going to serve as a death perception. They blow up the Claymore and we'll know they're coming around a corner. And I mean, you can use a Talisman if you want to for this to get an LMG to start. I highly recommend that. If you have it, Talismans are kind of sparse in this game, so it pisses me off, but whatever. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to run this best on the Aether maps, particularly classified, and we're of course going to use the can't go wrong, good old fashioned death machine. Just, this just is the best special weapon in the game, hands down. And make sure we're using the Saug. And we're gonna jump right into it, guys. Let's go. A few moments later. So we're actually gonna start in round one this game. Unlike the last video, we started at round 10 because I wanted to show you how things get going once zombies are in full sprint. If you haven't seen the runner video, go check that one out too. But for camping, uh, on classified, this truly works best for one reason and one reason only. There is an Easter egg, if you don't already know about it, at the beginning of this map in the other room. God fucking knife. Uh, where you can basically activate a door and kill a bunch of crawlers, knife them, and just stock up points very, very quickly at the beginning of the game. So, 
and you want to make sure you're knifing. Normally, I would put a couple rounds into them if I was using a pistol, but that's not what we're doing, because we have a... Yeah. Now, we're going to go over here to this back corner, give it a little knock-knock, interact square. And uh, homeboy is going to be on the other side of the door telling us to piss off and go fuck yourself, because he's doing important stuff, important zambi stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And we always want to make sure we're keeping this one zombie here. Make sure you keep this one zombie here on round one. Get some points. There we go. Always maximize your points. Pay homage to the perk machines. Pay homage. They are your life. So yeah, it does take a minute to just kind of go through this Easter egg. You just gotta, he's monologuing, whining, complaining, just keep interacting every time he's done talking until finally uh, some dogs will spawn in first. We're just gonna give them a little one-two punch. And then after he's done with his whole spiel, Samantha's gonna be like, hey, leave him alone, blah de blah And about 40 crawlers, Nova crawlers, are gonna spawn in. And we're just gonna knife them to holy hell. Stop. No, leave me alone, Mr. Zambi. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. You're too slow. That's later. You could touch me later. Maybe after you buy me dinner. Who knows? I don't know. You know? I don't know. And this is also one of the uh, most expensive perk setups, actually, that you can build or assemble slash strategize so that's what makes this extra little bit at the beginning very important is maximizing your points as soon as you can you don't have to open too many doors in this map you only have to open the elevator door the uh, catwalk barriers and then the second elevator barriers down in the middle section and that's it. I mean, besides, unless you want to get weapons or open other doors to get perks, that's all you need to turn on the power, and then after that, it's smooth sailing because you can just take a teleporter. Ah, shut up, Samantha, you bitch. Hey, don't touch me. So, yeah, they're going to start spawning in. They spawn in really slow, but they're one-hit knives, so just go to town, knife all of them as fast as you can, get them out of the way and then we can move on with this build and it's gonna be you don't want to you always want to keep moving for this first little bit killing all these guys you don't want to stand in a corner because they will pile up on you very quickly and they're just kind of a pain in the ass to like shoot like down at the ground so it's best to just, just right, get right up on them and knife them hey B -b 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 bonus points yeah all right there's the last two Hello? Yep, that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we're gonna open this. Down we go. Fastest elevator ride ever. <laughs> barrier number two. And barrier number three. We go straight down. Don't waste no time. Do, 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 do. There we go. Pay homage. There we go. Now, sometimes the shield part spawns right there. It wasn't there. We're gonna go around the corner here. Sometimes it's here. Nope, it's not there. One other spot is way over yonder, up against the wall. Shebang. Grab that. Gonna open this. Pay homage. Thank you, sir. 10 more points, and then we could buy that. But what we really want, I'm a Bowie knife guy. I like to be able to maximize my points early on by knifing. Uh, we're looking for the teleporter piece. Uh, there it is. Can spawn in this room in either of those three spots I just sh looked at. All right. Now, run over here and look for a door there. Nope. Pay homage. <laughs> Alrighty, another shield part could be over yonder. There it is. Okie dokie. Uh, shut up, Nikolai. You drink too much. Alright, next up. I do love the teleporters in this map. I've always loved them. Going back upstairs in this other room to get the last shield part. There it is. 
It'll always spawn in this room somewhere, either up against the filing cabinets or on the other side of the wall, or the other side of the door, or the, the other side of the room. Ballistic shield in, in the ether maps is pretty dope, too. Especially when you get the soul shield. I mean, the soul shield in Blood of the Dead is just one of the coolest things ever. And back down to the middle section. We're going to run over here just in case, and we're going to grab the trap part can spawn in three places here. I just happened to pick the, the right one the first time. Back upstairs. This is an easy installation. You really don't even have to hold it down and build it. You just stick it straight in. Bloop. And we want it on that one. Oh, glitch. We want it on this one just in case we have to move from our camping position here at the elevator and run down to the end of the hallway, kill some zombies, and then run right back to our camping position. Like, yes, you can run in a camping build, but, you know, it's only when you have to. So, now we can jump forward. Dog round, round five. Easy peasy. Kill some doggos, pretend like you don't love them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fluffy, no. Buy your first perk. Always get Dying Wish first. Oh, God, that's awesome. Always get Dying Wish first, and I try and activate it right away, just because the more you use it, the faster it recharges. I'm gonna let these guys just smack me a couple of times. Ow. 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 Yep, there we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tried to use my claymore. Yeah, you cannot use claymores inside of the elevator. Just a heads up. Always have to set them outside the elevator. And if you ever get trapped up against the wall like I just did, pop your special and mow them down. I only like to use half of it if I have to. I try not to use the whole special all at once. Okie doke. Run. We're going to go see if we can get some more perks. Or actually, yeah. Ping. Always good to have that. Nikolai, stop talking. You drink too much. Just stop. Ow. He exploded on me. Okay. Where are we going? From here. From here. This can be a good section to kind of camp out early rounds as well. Both, but like the best camping spots are indeed the elevators. And again, I don't recommend the solo. This is just so I can demonstrate some of the mechanics of the build. Set that there. Boom. Normally you would have, oh, I like to run two bots if I'm gonna run a camping build. Mow all these guys down. Mmm, mmm, yum yum. Death machine thinks he's tasty. Another thing you can do if you're on the run is you can always throw a claymore down behind you as you're running away. Just to get that extra edge. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Stone cold. Stone cold killer. It, 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 it's to kill. Eat shit. Now, really, you want to stand in the middle of the elevator. I'm just kind of standing up against the wall, but you want to stand in the middle of the elevator. That way, that defensive circle encompasses the entire floor of the inside of the elevator. That way, if zombies start running in in the elevator, you can run around circles in the elevator and not have to worry about breaking the circle or getting hit. You'll still have that uh, protective modifier. Or, not modifier, but a protective boost. See, right here, we're going to. Bloop. Throw that down behind us. Hit marker. Last perk. One thing you don't want to do is try and camp down here. Too many windows, too many narrow spaces. Unless you're all standing in a corner or, like, again, the elevator. The elevator downstairs is a pretty good spot because they can only come from dead on. They can't come from the uh, sides, really. I mean, the sides behind you. <laughs> like
like I said, by far the best special weapon in Black Ops 4, and I'm really sad they actually took it away as a power-up. Grab yourself an LMG. Unleash hell. We, we will. We definitely will. So back up a yonder. The guns is really more up to you. Two LMGs might be a bit much. That's a lot of reloading, like as far as length of time. Even with the speed cola, quote unquote, boost. Yeah, but that's where stock option comes in. Reloading is a pain in the ass. We don't want to have to reload. Just use stock option. Perfect for an LMG. Easy. Just like that. And you can extend the defensive circle away from you in front of the elevator also. Mine. Mine. Of course, uh, that's like the one, uh, that must be like the meme of all zombies is that gives you all the max ammo at the beginning of the game when you don't need them. Just a couple more. Sweet. And we're moving on up. Moving on up. <laughs> oh yay shoot here's something you don't want to do is try and hit the mystery box middle round with a camping build but you know we're werewolves we make do mm, the jukes the jukes are still real ah, get off of me Best special in the game. In the words of Tank Dempsey, eat lead. I will admit it does sound like there's a slight audio glitch with the death machine. I haven't used it in a while, but it sounds like it kind of kicks. Get off me. Boo boo. So, yeah, I just hit the box a couple more times and got myself the BKM, which is another LMG. It's way too slow. This thing is worse than the Gorion. And this is something you don't want to do. See, burned out. And melee them all. Somehow I still go down here because I'm a. There's a glitch. Yeah, there's a glitch. Right? <laughs> nah, it's all good. I'm just being a goose. Don't take a hit. It, it'll, like, you'll still take the hit and go down, but, you know, it did kill him, so that's a nice thing. Okay, let's go get our perks back. The fun part of going down. Gotta go get all our perks back. And see, that was first down round 15 from just getting trapped in a freaking corner of an elevator, which I can already escape from by pressing the button. Here's another escape. Anywhere but here... The nice thing about anywhere but here is th this map is not too huge also, so you can not have to teleport as far. It won't teleport you to Area 51, but you can also camp here. See there, I just put up a claymore. You can camp in the corner. Not the best idea, but... Alright. Get off me. Alright. It's the weirdest looking Pack-a-Punch camo, I swear. You can kind of set up this area for camping, but it's way more difficult than Moon was, simply because... Eh, just This is for points. There's no barriers to rebuild here. This is just for some extra points to double pack, which I don't end up doing anyway. But the difference between this and Moon is that on Moon, they don't spawn in behind you when you're up on the platform, the teleporter platform. Whereas this, they just come from all sides. It's, it's a little ridiculous. And the longer you stay in Area 51, the more all the debris clears out. But it's really not worth staying here. So I suggest trying to get back inside as quick as possible. So, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking here. I don't know really what happens. I just kind of... <laughs> and 
that's why I don't recommend running a camping build solo. Either play with at least one friend or one to two bots. I prefer two bots for this kind of build. Wouldn't it have been nice to have bots on Darice or the Giants? When you camp up on the catwalk, you could last forever. Now, we only got to round 17 there, but uh, this will definitely easily get you to round 40 with bots. Uh, on Classic and uh, Casual, we got to round pretty much 60. So, don't tell me it doesn't work. It works, I promise. That was just a poor demonstration, but it was more about the uh, facts of the build itself, not uh, the application. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, next week, we're going to have the Aggressor build. More content for Black Ops 4 Zombies with your boy Werewolf. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Peace.